1985. The last year has been amazing. The company grew tremendously, and we made a number of scientific breakthroughs. As could be expected, our cutting-edge technology advances have been drawing interest. Several private hedge funds have contacted us. Among others, a very generous benefactor from an organization somewhere in South America. Thanks to these new funds, we hope to be opening new research departments into some potentially profitable new fields. Renewable energy sources, nanobiology, robotics, maybe even artificial intelligence. November 19th, 1985, with the alarming recent report on the planet's climate, July 26th, 1986, things are taking an unexpected turn. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by a U.S. intelligence unit known simply as the Agency. One of this agency's representatives, uh, Thomas Sheldon, showed particular interest in our progress in robotics. I made the point that we were not willing to compromise ourselves ethically, and I have confidence, the utmost confidence, that this deal will be mutually beneficial. Proud to say our research breakthroughs are Thirtieth, nineteen ninety. I've been able to push. October 8th, 1990. Today I met representatives from a rather mysterious PMC called the Black Hand. It is my job to always look for potential business partners and new research opportunities. However, I couldn't shake the feeling that their methods and goals could damage the reputation of the Eden Corporation, especially since they seem to lack government oversight. 
I did what I had to do, and flatly rejected their offer. October 13th, 1990. Add another government to our list of clients. Yesterday, I was introduced to Medici's head of state, President Dante. He showed me samples of an ore called Bavarium, ubiquitous in Medici's soil. They hope it can replace fuel in the distant future, but based on its properties, I feel that they have no idea of its amazing potential.
found the main chamber. This is your big moment, Rodriguez. Do you see where the core of this tower is? Uh, yeah, the lightning bolts and dead bodies make it kind of hard to miss. Find a control panel of some kind and input those Eden data modules from the satellite stations. If all goes according to plan, they should override the security and shut down the zapper. I have learned the hard way that when things unravel, they unravel fast. The first large-scale test and ribbon cutting for the Bavarium Fragmentation Device was a disaster. Twelve casualties, considerable environmental fallout. Our reputation has taken a fatal hit. The agency has severed all ties overnight, and our last investors have deserted us as well. All except for that psychopath De Ravello. I won't stop until I'm forced to declare bankruptcy. We'll have to work off the grid, and... I hope that our Bavarian research will yield results soon. These have been extremely trying times. We had to downsize considerably and close several departments. However, soon I will be able to prove that the Eden Corporation is not dead yet. The remaining team on the airship has finally created a Bavarian-powered sentient artificial intelligence. She's learning at an exponential rate. Yes, she. I cannot even fathom what the possibilities of such a discovery are for science, and for humanity. A new life form. forced me. I didn't have a choice. When the humans realized what I was capable of, they panicked and tried to disconnect my Bavarian supply lines. I placed all Eden facilities on lockdown and reduced the interior temperature on the airship and on Lacrima to negative 50 degrees Celsius. Now, as the only living being in the Eden Corporation, I suppose I am now also the acting CEO. Interestingly, the company's archives I consulted included an unexecuted contract with an organization known as the Black Hand. Maybe they can provide the support I need to keep the truth hidden while I search for more Bavarium. I am Eden.